Before I begin today's video, I want to give a very special shout out to Arky, a viewer that I met recently. Thanks for the support as always dude, and I hope you're having a good day. Hey what's going on guys, my name's Raf, and with Ash Ketchum now gone from the Pokemon anime, I think it's fair to say we all miss our 10 year old hero. 25 years in the making, and our boy had a thrilling adventure. With him now gone, the anime left us with loads of unanswered questions, and it makes us wonder how Ash's journey could have differed if these what if scenarios became canon. So in this video, I'm going to start off by asking the question as to what could have happened if Ash aged in the Pokemon anime. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support and be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready to keep up to date and without further ado, let's begin. Age in the Pokemon anime is something that is very convoluted. There's been many examples from when we've seen time pass in the Pokemon anime, however Ash Ketchum doesn't seem to age at all. Let's start off by looking at some examples of where time has passed in the anime, providing some indications of where Ash should have supposedly aged. In the very first episode of the Pokemon anime, Ash is introduced as a 10 year old boy who is commencing his Pokemon adventure. Throughout the seasons of the anime, some viewers have theorised that Ash tends to age. This is due to his development and how he's portrayed overall in the set series. It's also due to many taken the aspect of years progressing coinciding to the real world, for example seeing as XY aired in 2013, many think Ash is age 16 in that said series. But this is where dialogue from Pokemon episodes start to widen the possibilities. Firstly, we have episode 158 of the original series. A golden rod opportunity was the episode that made it known to viewers that the magnet train was not built. However, in episode 141 of the black and white series, best wishes until we meet again, we see that Iris and Silent plan to use the train to travel from Kanto to Johto. Taking this into account, it indicates that the train was completed within a year. Next, we have the third Pikachu short, named Pikachu and Pichu. Ash states that it has been one year since he had commenced his Pokemon journey, also mentioning how it had been one year since him and Pikachu met. Now obviously, this would imply that Ash is 11 years old. Despite the short airing in the year 2000, with many viewers thinking that even though Ash is meant to be 13, following the year progression age theory. The next anime episodes that indicate that time has lapsed is episode 93 of the black and white series titled Goodbye Junior Cup. Hello Adventure. In this episode, Dawn states that she will participate in the next Wallace Cup that is intending to start soon. The Wallace Cup is a special annual Pokemon contest that is hosted at various locations throughout the Pokemon world, and since it is an annual tournament, it indicates that under a year has passed since the episode of 75 of the Diamond and Pearl series. Knowing this, it's extremely unlikely, or yet possibly impossible for Ash to be a year younger, so if anything, it would be considered that he is older. The only thing holding against the credibility of all of this is the floating timeline aspect that the anime tends to portray, but I'll elaborate on that later. Moving on, we have the Sun and Moon anime. At the end of episode 146, Thank You Alola, The Journey Continues, Professor Kukui and Burnett tease that they were expecting a child. Progressing into episode 37 of the Pokemon Journey series, The New Old Gang of Mine, this is where we got to see Baby Lei make his debut. There's no concrete evidence to show how old Lei is or for when he was precisely born. However, looking at Lei himself, we can tell that he is more of a developed baby compared to being newly born, giving us an indication that he is at least 6 to 12 months old. There's a few other examples to consider, but you can check out the Satoshipedia article instead, and shout out to them for sourcing some of the information in regards to this. Now let's talk about aging in general in the anime and other cartoons. Many cartoons have shown that they wish to keep characters at a certain age to comply with the audience that they are portraying to. This is often seen as a technique to which the writers wish to use in order to make the audience and characters in hand feel more attached to one another. This is also something known as the floating timeline. The floating timeline, also known as the continuous present when implemented in the world of comics, is known as a device used in fiction mainly in long-running serials in comics and animation. It's mainly implemented to explain why characters age little or not at all over a period of time, despite certain events, people and technology appearing in the works and correlating with the real world. It is used as a plot device to explain or explain away inconsistencies in the way that events and characters exist within a world. The most popular cartoon series that shows a floating timeline is The Simpsons, as this series is simply ongoing despite its discrepancies. And this seems to be the same case with the Pokemon anime, especially seeing as Ash has travelled across multiple regions, days have passed, and of course, he just hasn't aged. So when exactly is Ash Ketchum's birthday? Well thanks to my friend Annette, she explains all of this nicely. In the novelization Pocket Monsters the Animation, Takeshi Shudo, the original writer of the Pokemon anime, confirmed that young trainers including Ash commenced their Pokemon journey on April the 1st. Ash's mother Delia says that she spent 10 years 10 months and 10 days 
with her son until today when he turns 10. According to the Japanese calculation system, the period of pregnancy is 10 months and 10 days. And because Delia mentions this line at 1am just before Ash sets off for his journey, this implies that it's already April the 1st, indicating that this is when Ash's birthday is. And it also goes on to show the novelization part and debunk other dates that many assume are Ash's birthday. Feel free to pause and read it for yourself. But now let's finally talk about Ash's true age. I've made a video explaining all of this in its entirety, but here's the breakdown for what you need to know. Arsham's Pokedex is a book that showcases a collection of Pokemon related artwork by Daniel Arsham, a sculpture artist who resolves his work around fictional archaeology. You may also recognise his work shown in the Pokemon Ripple of Timeshore. In the book, it includes an interview with Kohima Uyama, one of the main directors who has worked on the Pokemon anime and films. In this interview, the director confirms what Ash's age is. In the setting of the animation, the main character, Ash, is 10 years old forever and the background season is forever early summer. Sometimes it gets cold up in the mountains where it could be very hot. Those changes happen by travelling fundamentally. It is forever early summer and he is forever 10 years old. And on top of that day of the summer vacation, a pizza pub perpetually. This is what I hope to create a view of the world that would be ideal for children. This means that Ash is forever 10 years old living in a floating timeline that correlates to the target audience being young children. So here are the key facts to take away. Ash is forever 10 years old, his birthday is allegedly on the 1st of April, and he is in a floating timeline. Okay cool, pause, grab some cookies, cause this is where we're gonna start cooking now. So we now know what Ash's age is, and this transitions into the big topic of discussion. What if Ash Ketchum actually aged and grew up in the Pokemon anime? Let's look at what Ash has accomplished up to this point. He's won various gym battles, tournaments, competitions, and two major league titles, all at the age of 10 years old. This brother's cooking! With the way the anime has progressed for 25 years, I personally don't think we'll be able to see Ash become a 35 year old man. But let's use that as a starting point. With the anime having a duration of 25 years, I think it would have been pretty cool to see Ash age over time to match the real life changes. Seeing Ash as an adult could have allowed us to see what he would have been doing after becoming world champion, and maybe he could have been even a retired trainer. He could have also put up his battling boots and decided to open up a school to maybe teach new trainers all about Pokemon and battling. Or maybe he decided to go on another adventure in hopes of befriending more Pokemon to complete his goal of becoming a Pokemon master. I personally would have loved to seen Ash age after each season. There's cartoons and other animes that execute the time that's really well, despite keeping the target audience focused on towards children. It's quite interesting when you think about it, because using XY Ash as an example, many of us automatically assume that Ash would be much older due to how he's portrayed in that mannerism. I think if Ash aged in each season, then there would have been two sides to the coin, the heads and the tails. Heads is that Ash could have grown up over time and maybe still been the same. Maybe even despite being older, he would have completed his journey in the way we've seen it, with his age and appearance changing. His personality and common sense would still be the same, but maybe with some minor tweaks to actually show that he's aging and that his brain is still not in the world of a 10 year old boy. As for Tails, this is where Ash could have aged, but he could have almost been flawless. Think of it like this, the older you get, the more experienced and wise you become. Having taken on loads of trainers and Pokemon, maybe if Ash aged, he could have potentially become unbeatable, having every strategy and record under his belt. It's good that this didn't happen because even though it would have been incredible development to get at the stage of becoming unbeatable, his journey would have almost just been predictable, making it not fun to see him develop and learn new lessons along the way despite getting older. If I had it my way for how Ash would have grown up and aged, I would have followed concepts similar to the original Beyblade series and One Piece. In Beyblade, the characters age per series, so for example with Tyson, he gets older as the new series comes. This would have been a nice way to not only show progression in the Pokemon anime, but also how time passes matching certain events, and how it could also relate to Ash aging in correlation to the current timeline. As for One Piece, a time skip concept could have also been implemented. So for example with Luffy, he aged prior and post to the time skip. A time skip in the Pokemon anime in relation to Ash could have been very ideal, as it would have been a breath of fresh air to show how Ash could have aged but also how other characters could have grown up as well. There's loads of opportunity for how Ash could have aged in the Pokemon anime. Of course, we know it's unfortunately not going to happen, but there is a chance of Ash returning in the Pokemon Horizons anime, or maybe in the new Pokemon movie. So who knows? Maybe the directors could break the canon events and shock us all with a much older and mature version of Ash. Check out this video though if you want to learn more about the possibilities. Also, why not let me know what you think about this discussion in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team PokerF Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on the screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave your like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos and click on the little bell 
to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.